Okay, so I'll be sharing with you a free price action strategy. It uses a bit of volume spread analysis. As you can see, I have volumes here. Um, it kind of kind of works on the dollar yen and the euro dollar. And the time frame that we use would be the minute 15 chart. Uh, the software I'm using is called Forex Tester. It simulates data or generates random tick data. And we do back tests on it to see how well strategies work even on random markets. How this strategy works is that uh, we need fractals. As you can see, I'm applying fractals. We need, fract uh, we need volumes and we need the uh, candlesticks. What we do is that we wait for bars with four colors, uh, I mean four bars with the same colors in a row. So let's say you have four bullish bars or four bearish bars. So that's the point where we start looking at the volumes. So either the fourth bar or any bar after the fourth bar, you have to look for the volumes. It has to have a body larger than the previous candle and the volumes has to be smaller than the previous candle. And then we fade that move, meaning trade against whatever that move was. If it was bullish, we uh, sell it. If it was bearish, we buy it. And the profit taking would be just a previous fractal. Uh, do not take uh, exactly at at the support resistance level. Give give some space. So as you can see, I'm just placing it a bit above that resistance. Okay. Now, other than having bars which are larger and smaller volumes you can also have bars which are smaller body but larger volumes so it works both ways okay as you can see I place my uh, take profit my stop loss would be uh, just a grid above is either a grid above or a fractal whichever you prefer okay we took profit on the trade now I'll be scrolling the chart and I'll bring you the next trade okay we have another uh, signal over here but the body is of similar size with the previous candle we do not care about the range or the wick we only look at the body so in this case we have the same body so we do not count that now for here we have a larger body but the volume uh, is smaller than the previous bar so we can sell here is a trade larger body smaller volume sell okay now for the trade, the take profit will be placed at the opposite fractal. So we, I'll be placing it right over here and add a bit well, to add for spread and stuff. Okay, so that took profit as well. Okay, we have another uh, signal over here. We have four bars in a row. And the, okay, seems like the fifth bar has a larger body and smaller volume so we'll be selling against this move I placed my stop loss at the previous high and trying to be as conservative as possible the purpose here is to lose less money as possible while trying to gain as much as possible so we expand our profit but decrease our stop loss okay I got stopped on that one so let's just move on to the next trade okay this is another trade as we can see, this fourth bar has a larger uh, body, but it has smaller volume, so we can sell against this move. Okay, stop loss is just a bit above, at the grid above, and the take profit would be at the opposing fractal, this one, within the 32 pip candle range. Uh, a grid of 10 or a grid of 5 any fractals beyond that is uh, unrelevant okay we got uh, larger larger candle body and also larger volume so we have to wait for the next bar that would have made money but well you have to be strict in our rules okay we have another short candle here four, bar four bearish bars uh, larger body smaller volume so we can buy against this bearish move unfortunately we do not have an opposing fractal within the last like 10 grids so you'll just aim for a for a high 
or for a fakey high as a take profit a fakey high stop loss is about one grid or the closest fractal okay take profit hit the key to the strategy is not the edge but it's more of the risk to reward ratio with a slight edge because you can win only 51% of times but if your risk to reward ratio is more than 1 is to 1 okay this is another very straight we have uh, more than 4 bullish bars in a row and this bar uh, has la what, has smaller volumes than the pin bar 2 bars to the left we ignore the doji in the middle between those two so it has a larger body but it has smaller volumes so I'm selling against this stop loss is about one grade above take profit is at the previous spectacle apparently the stop loss was too small for this uh, platform so I have to put it as six pips okay take profit okay we have another trade here we have a larger body than the previous candle and we have a smaller volume than the previous candle so we can sell against this move take profit would be the previous opposite candle which is here and stop loss is just a bit above i think i pressed stop loss too big it should only be about five pips uh thank you for watching um i hope that this strategy brings you many dollars many pounds and um if you feel like um saying thank you you can always donate money or just a simple thank you could also be enough because i don't really need money actually because i can teach for free